Well, Merry Christmas from Cooper Road Mini. Let's see what's going on here. We got a dog rolling around in the chair. We've already had our Christmas goose, so we're out here relaxing in the Cooper Road Mini shop. Having come up from the basement. One of the shops. We're going to take this chance here just to show real quick how to have a look at these uh, idler end floats. We've assembled our uh, flywheel housing to our four synchro remote gearbox with the magic wand conversion. This is for our 67 Mini Moke. Our engine awaits. And so what we're going to try to do here, quickly show, we've got our nice little feeler gauge. We've measured this at about six thousandths, which is at the top of the tolerance. We can see that we just want to fit a feeler gauge in here between the uh, idler gear and its thrust washer and the case. And what we're measuring, the only thing that really changes here is this gasket thickness. So don't be tempted to do away with the gasket thinking, well, silicone will work without addressing this. You only need to lose about 30 thousandths if you're going to do away with it. But in most cases, we're just going to go ahead and use the gasket, and this is the critical dimension here. We want some end float here. Without it, this gear is going to bind in the case generate heat and destroy these thrust washers in all likelihood the transmission case and the flywheel housing. So a very critical dimension to set. There's no real mystery to it but it's one of those things on a Mini where people go, oh we gotta set the end float. But we can see the assembly here. Essentially we just put this together with the five or six uh, studs or bolts. I'm gonna use this one over here too on the bottom. That surrounds the idler gear and gives a good representation of the crush we're going to achieve on the gasket once we've assembled it fully. So now I'm going to go ahead and take it apart again. I, there's a number of ways you can address this. I have a thinner gasket I can use to maybe uh, eat up three or four thousandths to bring it down to maybe three. Um, I might have some thicker shims here, although this is the four synchro type, so these are the smaller ones. I had one sitting here, but uh, they are less common. Um, I had a 137 but I think it got scorched when our last uh, idler gear setup failed, destroying our case. So we're going to be very careful here and make sure that this is set up well. We're going to take it apart and try to reassemble it with a different gasket and achieve a nicer float. But that's what we do on Christmas night here at Cooper Road Mini. We hope you had a lovely Christmas with your families. And uh, we'll continue our project, which is what we do for fun out here.